For numerous years, a lion and his cherished trainer were forced apart. The anticipation of their reunion was met with skepticism as people doubted the lion's ability to remember. However, the astonishing events that followed left everyone stunned. Orlazmi, a devoted animal enthusiast from Israel, had nurtured her passion for animals since her early years. She possessed a natural affinity for them and formed deep connections effortlessly. Taking up the responsibility of walking her neighbor's dogs, she consistently astounded others by effortlessly maintaining their calm and orderly behavior. Witnessing the young girl confidently walking five or six dogs simultaneously always evoked surprise. There was an unexplainable magnetism that drew animals towards her, and they obediently heeded her commands without fail. Driven by her unwavering love for animals, the young girl pursued her passion and embarked on a journey to become an animal trainer. Lazma dedicated herself to her craft and eventually rose to the position of manager at the Seaview Lion Park, a privately owned sanctuary located in Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Devotedly tending to magnificent creatures like lions, tigers, and leopards, she formed an affectionate bond with each, treating them as cherished friends. Despite amusement from fellow trainers, who found her endearingly referring to them as friends or big babies, her childhood encounters instilled a deep connection. Astonishingly, these wild animals reciprocated her love and respect. With unwavering bravery, the petite five-foot, 1.5-meter woman fearlessly entered their enclosures, calmly petting them. They welcomed her touch, exhibiting remarkable composure and a genuine desire for her affection. Truly gifted, she shared an extraordinary rapport with these majestic beings. One fateful day, Lazma and her team went on a field trip. They had spent a few hours there and were about to leave when they saw a lion cub crouching in the distance. Lazma saw that the cub was alone, but she did not approach it just in case the mother lioness was close by. Not wanting to leave the cub all by itself, she and her team waited around until evening to see if its mother would show up. After several hours of waiting, it became obvious that no one was coming back for the young lion. Lazma walked up to the cub and stroked its head. It looked like it was hungry and cold, poor thing, she thought. The animal trainer tucked the cub in her arms and they all headed back to the park. Back at the park, Lazma took the role of a caretaker fully. She spent four hours a day, seven days a week, taking care of the cub. She named him Julian. He was a feasty cub who loved to play and loved to find rules even more. The seasoned trainer had to be patient with him, even though it wasn't easy. She would feed him milk formula from a bottle and give him food so he could grow to be a strong lion. Although Julian often got into trouble. He was a lovely little cub who loved Lazmi dearly and enjoyed her presence or Lazmi had a unique method of training her animals. She never trained them strictly or in the traditional method instead. She gained the trust by feeding them, taking good care of them and respecting their body language. The animal lover believed that even though they were being cared for, these big cats should be treated as the wild cats that they were. She believed that one had to earn their trust and not gain their respect by force. Lazma knew friends. Julian was growing up so fast at 17 months old, he already weighed 300 pounds, 136 kilograms and was about 4 feet tall, 1.3 meters. Lazma and the lion had become so fond of each other that member of her team often accused her of playing favorites with him. She always denied, but deep down she knew that there was something special about Julian, and that they shared a special bond. As the lion kept growing bigger, the animal trainer became sad as much as she loved him. She knew she would have to take him to another park where they would be able to care for his growing needs. She was expecting a new lit of Ford comps and had to make room for them. So, Lazma and the other trainers arranged to take him to the Kruger National Park, and soon everything was set and Julian rehomed his new house was several hours away from the Seaview Lion Park, but in the same state. The weather conditions were optimal for a lion, and the staff was extremely qualifying to take care of him. Everything indicated that Julian would fit right in. After about a week, however, Julian's new trainer became worried when the animal still would not touch any food, and so he invited an expert who explained that the animal was having a hard time psychologically he was missing his old home and friends, 
and especially his old trainer, Lazma the Expert, advised them to be patient with the lion as it would return to his normal, lively self with time. The new trainer did his best. He patiently earned the lion's trust and did not let his attitude stop him. True to the expert's words, Julvin got better he started eating and playing once again. Everyone was delighted with the new turn of events. Back at the Seaview Park, Lazna was knee-deep in her new responsibilities. Taking care of the four new lion cubs was not an easy job, but the veteran trainer was up to the task. She would often remember Julian and would get tempted to jump in her car and drive to the park to see him, but she needed to keep her distance so that he would adapt to his new environment. Julian was a delightful animal and was a major attraction at the park. He was now used to his new home and even loved it. Everyone was glad that he had gone over his former trainer and was thriving there, but this didn't mean that he was not missing Lazmi. Four years had passed and both the animal and his best friend had moved on with their lives. Julian was well integrated into the Kruger Park and even had a pride of his own. The lion spent most of his time playing or lazing around with his peers. Lazmi, on the other hand, was always busy at the park training other animals. One day when she was in Umpumbalanga on a work trip, she decided to visit her old friend at the Kruger National Park. The young woman didn't expect him to remember her, but was excited to see her friend after so many years. As she got to the park and approached the lion's enclosure, she felt pretty nervous. What if the lion had forgotten her? It would break her heart if she saw Julian and he failed to recognize her. Sure, he was a lion after all, but she still hoped that their connection was still there. Unsure of what would happen next, the lion's former trainer approached the enclosure cautiously and stood by the barricade that separated them from the lions. Julian, who was lying on the ground, looked up and saw his old friend. What happens next? Shocked everyone to the bone marrow. The lion got up and suddenly ran to meet Lazmi. He stood on his back legs, stretched his hands out on the barricade, and grabbed the woman by the neck. Most onlookers were horrified as they thought that the lion meant to harm the woman. It took a moment for them to see that he was hugging and kissing her. Lazna was so happy to see him and hugged her friend back. This display caught everyone by surprise and even brought tears to the eyes of a few people. The duo spent most of the afternoon together, hugging and playing. Longing for each other's presence, their reunion filled them with joy. As the woman prepared to depart, she bid her friend a fond farewell, embracing him tightly before parting ways. A radiant smile adorned her face during the drive back to her hotel. The woman found solace in Julian's thriving existence within his new abode, but what truly delighted her was his remembrance of her. News of this remarkable reunion quickly circulated throughout the park, leaving the workers astonished that the lion could retain such profound emotions over the years. It challenged their preconceived notions about the depths of wild animal sentiments. Videos capturing this unexpected reunion spread rapidly on social media, captivating countless viewers with its astonishing tale. As word of the remarkable encounter spread, an ever-growing audience found themselves in disbelief, astounded by the sheer incredibility of it all. Undoubtedly, it became a day etched in the memories of all who witnessed it, but most significantly, for the two friends whose unbreakable bond endured throughout the years. Such a beautiful conclusion, even wild lions can remember those who love them. Would you dare approach a den of big cats like Lazma did? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you.